Would you look at that, Brad? Maybe we're on to something. to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some big news this is some big exciting news that i think you guys are going to want to cover i had to cover it in a full video i had to plug it and talk about it with you guys because i think that it's going to have an impact on our new crowdfunding wwe mattel ultimate edition arena project that we've been talking about for a while it's been again the big main say it's been the big topic in the wrestling action figure community and it's been something that has kind of consumed everybody and just every day everybody's constantly checking the numbers how close are we all this, all that. And I think Mattel actually took that into consideration. The team over with the WWE team, they've taken a lot of things into consideration. They do have a listening ear on the community, which I think has been proven a few times in this project, which we'll get into a little bit. But as of today, guys, they're actually adding an additional new thing for people who back this thing early. If you're a backer in the next eight days or so, so if you don't back this thing before August 13th, you will not be included in this. But if we can fill this thing up to 5,000 in the next eight days then everybody who initially backed it will get these items so let me explain so introducing ladies and gentlemen the early bird exclusive macho madness announcers pack oh yeah macho madness is about to run wild in the new generation arena as an exclusive bonus for early backers collectors who fund the ultimate edition new generation arena get the macho madness announcers pack early bird exclusively available until august 13 2021 at 9 p.m pacific time the exclusive bonus for early backers features a wwe ultimate edition macho man randy savage figure capturing his role as commentator of Monday Night Raw. Figure includes WrestleMania 10 entrance gear and an additional hat with an integrated headset. An additional announcer's headset for co-commentators. New generation announcer's table with soft goods, tablecloth, two monitors, two microphones, and two blue folding chairs. Early bird exclusively available until August 13, 2021 at 9 p.m. Pacific. Hashtag unlock the arena. So in this set, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to be getting a brand new Ultimate Edition Macho Man action figure with tons of accessories, soft goods, cloth jacket, announcer's table, two blue folding chairs, which I think Steve said is a first time in the line. They've never done that before. I think somebody else made those for ringside exclusives before, but I guess it wasn't Mattel that did that. It was a third party company. We have the announce table monitors and we have headsets and two microphones phones for the commentators. So this throws a whole new wrinkle into the Ultimate Edition New Generation Arena. You know, we were upset about the 250, and oh my god, what the heck? This, this doesn't equal 250. You don't even get that much. Look at this. Look at that. Well, now, Brad, they've added an entire figure and an announce booth, which again, looking at the announce booth, it, it, it's obviously a flashback announce booth. It's not like a current day announce booth, so it is classic. It's got the folding table with the blue cloth, which could be used for a lot of other things, mind you, but you get more bang for your buck. Throwing in a whole nother figure really adds to it and all the accessories that he's going to come with, as you guys heard. I think we're teetering on the, the 250 scale. It's definitely closer to the 250. And if we hit the doink in the ring skirts, I think the 250 is fully covered. And it may even be more than that. And I have to give a huge props to Mattel and the WWE Elite Squad and the whole team that is working on this project because they, they didn't have to do anything, man. They could have sat back and been like, oh yeah, that's it. You can tell that they really want to make this happen. They really want future projects to happen. They really want, you know, this thing to come to fruition. And I mean, don't get me wrong, it does suck that, you know, we've had to wait until we get the, the you know, we had to get additional things. That just tells you the power of, of people talking and the power of us as a community coming together and, you know, kind of declaring our stance and saying, you know, this is how we feel and this is what we're thinking. And then for them to come back and say, well, let me, well let's see what we can do and then change it up for us. Now, I did watch a little bit of the Major Wrestling Figure podcast interview with Steve. Love Steve, by the way. Absolutely monster. Yeah, what a beast. Love that guy to death. But they were all sitting down talking and he actually mentioned something that the only reason they were able to add the Macho Man and add these things as like a, an early bird exclusive is because they cut into the marketing budget of this thing. So they literally took money out of the budget for marketing and you know selling this thing and they put it back in our pockets and said let's add a figure, let's add this, let's add that. And I guess he's literally giving the power to us, the people in the community, the people that support these projects and shop in the big time collectors, us in the community that are on social media and stuff like that, and they're giving the power to us to, to help promote this thing and to help make this thing happen, which is an awesome thing, and I salute them for that. And actually, at time of recording, I think he announced that like an hour or two ago, maybe maybe almost three hours, and at 
time of recording, it is at 1,363 backers, and it's actually climbing. Every time I refresh, not every single time, but almost every single time I've refreshed, it's like every few minutes, it seems like one more person is jumping on board, which is absolutely huge. That's about 27-ish percent away. We're not over the halfway point just yet. We still have a ways to go, but it's still very impressive, and it's awesome to see that. I've, I've actually had a lot of my friends come to me and say, I'm backing it now because of this Macho Man, which is really awesome. Again, not my area of expertise, not my niche, not my nostalgia pops. You know, it's not going to tickle me silly. However, it's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm pretty glad that they added another figure. I would love to see this thing reach 8,000 backers. Do I think it's going to reach 8,000 backers? I don't know. But if we could, if say this thing did reach 8,000 backers in the next eight days or whatever it is, like we max it out and we get the people that we need, I think 250 for all of that would be a pretty sweet deal. I think that would be a thing and I would love to see that take place. But even if we only got the basic stuff with no doink or anything and we got the Macho Man with the announce table, I think it definitely creeps up into that 250 range or close to it. But if we max it out, we get more than enough. But going back to the Macho Man, this makes a lot of sense in the fact that that Macho Man is going to be worth a ton. You guys already know the Ultimate Edition Macho Man action figure after the fact is going to be so expensive and it kind of gives you more things to break down if you didn't want it to begin with. If you wanted to flip it or whatever the case was, it gives you more things to play off of and sell and break down and equal back your money or make your money off of it or whatever. So I don't know, man. I would love to know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below. Do you think it's going to reach it now? Are you going to back it now that they've added this new extra deal? So not only did Mattel say, you know, they listened and said, okay, you don't want us to take your money right now. We'll cut that out. Okay. You want a little bit more? Let's, where can we add a little bit more? And I think that's really impressive. Now the numbers have definitely shot up ever since, like you remember when I just said I've refreshed it every time I refresh it, it just got 10 more backers in the time that I just refresh between now and then. So it's definitely picking up steam. I'd love to see how much it picks up after this video goes live. Hopefully it will make a dent in it, add some value to it there. So now with this set, you're going to get two Ultimate Edition figures with their accessories, their interchangeable heads, their hats, their heads, all this. The announce table gimmick, the brand new ring with the wood slats and all the different details, the steel steps, and you get the sick ass entrance stage. The entrance stage is the best part in my opinion. I really love the entrance stage. I think of some really cool things you can do with it. You know, even if you just wanted to use the curtain, I mean, there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. Like, seriously, I may have to buy two or three of this arena. I'm not even lying. I've literally been on the fence with it. I've been talking with my wife about it. We've, we're literally right there, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see about that. I don't know. I really want to buy two for sure. Maybe three. I don't know. We might get seven. I don't know. I'm not going to get seven. That's seven more backers, though. Now, you guys already know they always nail the Macho Man cloth goods, so you guys know that jacket is going to be sick AF with the checkerboard and all of that. The freaking white and the black and white rips in the pants and stuff is going to be insanity. I mean, it's going to be it's going to be a really dope figure, man. I can already see it from a mile away. We got to make this thing happen, man. We got to make this thing happen. I know it's going to be great and terrific. So let's break this down again. One more time. If you back this Ultimate Edition New Generation Arena by August 13th at 9 p.m. Pacific, you will receive one Diesel Ultimate Edition figure, one Macho Man Ultimate Edition figure with cloth goods, jacket, interchangeable heads, and hats, WrestleMania 10 gear, two blue folding chairs, two classic WWF microphones, two commentator desk earphones, two monitors for your announce table, a folding table with blue cover cloth goods to go over the top, blue steel steps, the Ultimate Edition ring with the wood slats and all the different details, ring ropes, all that good stuff, and then the beautiful entrance way with the light blinking LED lights that's pretty big with the operational curtain and the black soft goods curtain and, and the flashy lights and everything that we've talked about before. Again, you must back it by August 13th to get these addition to get the Macho Man. It just gained three more backers at the time I just refreshed again by the time I the last time I said it. But I think we need to make this thing happen, man. It's I, I think that that definitely increased the value a lot and I'm excited for it now. I think I think this is definitely gonna get us on the right track. Again, you don't have to back it. I would personally back it just because I'm really excited for the entrance ramp. I am actually psyched about the, the, the last Macho Man Ultimate. I was like, eh, not that excited for it. Got it in hand, was like, holy ish. This figure's damn good. The head sculpts were really good. And I'm looking forward to this second one now because it's in a better gear, in my opinion. And it's got a sick ass cloth goods jacket. The last one did too, but this one's a little bit better in my personal opinion. But I'm actually pretty psyched about this set now with the Macho Man inclusion. I'm not going to lie to you. I think it's going to be sick. And if we can reach this 5,000, man, the sky's the limit in the future. Elimination Chamber, Hell in a Cell, SmackDown Fist. I would imagine the SmackDown Fist stage would probably be their next try or something iconic from the Attitude of Ruthless Aggression era. Like, it would have to, right? Like, 
right at SmackDown Fist Stage. SmackDown Fist Stage. Come on. But until then, Brad, let's back this. Let's make this thing happen. They've added value to it, and I'm excited for it, and I'm going to be putting in another order now. It also said if you already if you already backed before this was announced, you still get the Macho Man. So again, backers before August 13th are going to get the Macho Man with all the, you know, the announcer's desk and all of that different stuff. So I don't know, man. The choice is up to you, but don't be left in the dark when this thing fulfills and you're sitting there holding your cereal and crying in it because you didn't get your Macho Man or your other stuff. Let's unlock the arena or do our best. I'm not saying you have to. I'm not saying you must, but I'm saying it's a pretty good idea. 250 is a lot of money, but at least they added to the value of it. Love you guys so very much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below. Are you going to be backing it now that they've added value to it? I don't know, Brad. But today's random shout out is going to go to Mattel for adding value to the, to the Ultimate Edition New Generation Arena. Thank you. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line like freaking, like the New Generation Arena before the Macho Man. You cross